Hi guys, so if you've been following my channel for a while, I've taken you along as we moved to a new house last summer and now we're slowly renovating room by room this 1970s home. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I share how we made over our entryway on a budget. There's gonna be three different DIYs in this video that you might wanna implement in your own home. All you need for the one is a computer and all you need for another one is some spray paint. So I hope that this video is in some way helpful or entertaining. And yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along on the process because we all know that it doesn't just go from ugly to pretty like that, right? My name is Megan Fox. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Mennonite mom from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and I just like to do life with you guys. So let's see what we're working with. So when you open our front door and are welcomed into our home, this is what you'll be looking at. The one thing I really love about this entryway is the door. I don't think you can really see the color on here, but it's like a grayish, like a dirty gray color. Um, I actually really like it. I just have this rug from the old house here and it's very looking, I mean, I like it, but it's very much looking the worst for wear. And then that goes into our office. This goes up the steps. The steps here, I think we're gonna keep all the original, like on this floor anyway, we're gonna keep all the original trim. So the walls are gonna get white. This is what our ceiling looks like. We'll also keep the carpet on the steps, not for pretty reasons, but for practical reasons because, yeah, we have babies around and yeah, it's just best to have carpet. Um, it's not my preference, but that's how it's gonna be. And then I'm thinking we'll keep this the same too. We'll see, it's not my preference either, but yeah, we'll see how it looks once everything else is done. Our flooring is not original. The, the flooring is just like some really pretty vinyl planking that I love how it has the orangey warm tones, plus it has like the ashy gray tones in it. And we carried that over into our living room, which would be on this side here. And yeah, this wall is completely blank. I would love to put like a cute little nook here. And then on this side, there's just this um, hooks that were here with the house. And right now I have just this bag hanging there that we can quickly stow stuff in there. Also, just wanted to show you the chandelier. I'm hoping to get a new one or else spray paint this one. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's not awful but again, it won't match with the brass that we're gonna put throughout our house and into the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen is still not done yet at this point, point. Um, and all the doors are like this almond color that we're gonna repaint white. And the doorknobs are gold, which I think we'll probably just leave them for now. It's close enough to brass, like I feel like it's gonna flow okay into each room, so I don't know, we'll see, maybe we'll change it. Also, the light plates will have to get changed to white. And yeah, I'm just hoping to do a little bit of decor in here. Not, not too much, but I think a nice little welcoming entryway with maybe a mirror or something. Yeah, we'll see, I'm excited about it. So this is how I look at the end of the day, no joke. <laughs> we were outside a whole bunch today, all the cousins and aunts and uncles and my grandma, we all got together and we had like a little track and field day for the kids. It was so fun, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> Just thought I should explain the hairdo. Anyway, so tonight we are gonna get cracking on this hallway here and Josh puttied some holes, patched them up. And so he is going to go about do, using a paintbrush and doing the cut-in work. I like to do cut-in work too, but I like to tape off. He thinks that's a waste of time. So I'm just gonna let him do that himself because he's much faster at it free-handed. And then I'm gonna come behind him with a roller and then hopefully we'll get this thing painted quick and off to bed. <laughs> we just put the kids down, so it's about 8.15. here but this camera is about to shut off so I'm just gonna turn the camera off for tonight we're just gonna finish putting our first coat on here you guys know how it's done <sighs> okay so it is late in the day so excuse the appearance but um, my rug just came in so I wanted to show it to you guys quickly um, it is so confusing trying to find stuff online there's so many options out there which is great but then it's also like super overwhelming and so I like to get a good bargain and to know that I'm getting a good deal so often what I will actually do is go into my drop app that I have here on my phone and I will just look and see what deals are running. Um, and the drop app is sponsoring this video. Thank you, Christy. I was telling her that I was gonna shoot this video and she's like, this would be a great integration. I've been using the drop app for almost a year now and I love it. I get points without doing anything at all really. All you have to do is link a credit card and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But anyway, what I did was I just went on here to Urban Outfitters and last month they were boosted so I was getting 35 points for every dollar I spent. 
Um, but yeah, so I always like to look on here first before I shop. Walmart, anything like that. Um, my husband just bought me flowers from 1-800-Flowers and I was annoyed at him. I said, Josh, you should have used my app so you could have got points back. 10,000 points every time you buy from 1-800-Flowers. Anyway, but he's like, well then it wouldn't have been a surprise, <laughs> which is true. So he needs to download the drop app to his phone, right? Um, and I know a lot of you moms love Old Navy and currently it's up to 50% off plus 30 points for $1. So that's super, super awesome. So what I did was I looked on Urban Outfitters because I know I love their style and all their stuff and I found a rug for a really good deal. Um, it's a gray and a white one and I'll show you the full effect at the end of the video. But it actually, when I'm looking at it here, it looks the same on the front and the back after I remove the tag here. So I think I can use both sides. So yeah, I was super happy that I got this one off of Urban Outfitters and I got a whole pile of points back. Um, right now I have 23,120 points and then when I have enough, I can go in and hit rewards and then it will tell me what I can buy. I've earned 92% of an Olive Garden gift card, um, but I'll probably actually just save it until I have enough for an Old Navy gift card or an Amazon gift card. I need 50,000 points for that. Anyway, so if you don't have a savings app on your phone, I find the Drop app to be like the easiest one. You don't have to scan receipts or anything like that. You just download the app and then you link your credit card or multiple ones if you want to. I just have my main one on. And then anytime you shop, the Drop app will immediately drop the points automatically into your account. And then when you have enough points, you can redeem them for gift cards. And yeah, it's just free money. Okay, so when you're done watching this video, definitely go down in the description box. There'll be a link there. Click on that and then use my code to get an extra 10,000 points. That's a free $10. Once you've earned 1,000 points, they'll add that right back on top. And also make sure you do it soon because this offer is only good for a week. And yeah, you definitely want to, if you're gonna be signing up for the Drop app anyway, you might as well get the extra 10 bucks. So thank you Drop app for sponsoring this video. And I'm always so happy to talk about the Drop app because I use it like weekly. So I'm so excited about this next portion of the video. Josh is gonna be making a gorgeous entry table for me. Um, it's already happened, so let me show you that footage right now. A homemade table. Okay, look what we found out in Josh's um, barn, way out there. It is an old table with the original, like, first time around hairpin legs. Oh my goodness, 1950s all over again, but these are like the actual original ones. So, Josh is going to dismantle this table, I guess, and we got this piece of live edge wood from a friend, and we're gonna turn it into the tabletop type of thing. Um, it's gonna be kind of a table, kind of a shelf. I don't know, you're gonna have to wait and see. I'm excited about this project. Josh, are you excited about this project? Oh, uh, not really. <laughs> he comes home from work and I give him more work to do. Exactly. Don't you love me? Yes. So we could paint it black or leave it aged. Um, let's leave it aged because I like how it's like existing. Like it's true to the house, you know? Do you think it looks okay? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I'm outside because it's just so beautiful out. Gorgeous, gorgeous evening. And I'm going to be designing some posters for my entryway. So I'm here in Canva.com and I'm, I'm gonna hit create a design, custom dimensions. And then I know I want my posters to be 18 inches across. So I'm just gonna look on here on Staples and see what their dimensions are for their posters. Here it says they do 12 by 18, 18 by 24. So I'm gonna do the 18 by 24. Okay, so back to Canva, custom dimensions, and we're gonna type in, not pixels, but inches. Width is 18, and height is 24. So now I know that that's a dimension that Staples actually carries. Create design. 
Okay, and so then here is my layout and I'm going to add text, I'm going to add elements and colors and anyway, you'll see how it looks when I'm done and then I'll show you how I download it and then I will take it to Staples tomorrow and get them printed, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I decided not to overthink it and just to go with something simple. Um, I could have drawn something. I like to draw on my sketchbook app, but I just want to get this done and I wanted something pretty sleek and simple and modern looking. I didn't want anything too artsy, so I'm going to have this up for now. I'm going to go ahead and print it out. I'm only, the only thing I'm a little nervous about is what this color is going to look like actually once they print it. And if you're curious about the fonts that I used, Amsterdam 3 and Avril Fatface. <laughs> there you go. Now I'm going to download them, PDF print, because it's high quality, okay? You could do PDF standard as well. Um, I'm sure that would be fine too, but I don't know. I want this to look as good as possible, so I'm going to hit the PDF print. And then I will transfer these files to a jump drive and take them over to Staples tomorrow. Okay, I picked up my posters from Staples, and so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. I got Josh to cut me some pieces of wood. They're about a quarter inch thick. And then I think these are 18 inches long or 18 and a half because I ordered these papers as 18 by 24s. So I'm just going to use my hot glue gun here. Ouch, it was hot. <laughs> and I'm just going to glue these strips right along the bottom and the top. And then I'll show you how I'm going to hang them and we'll see if it works. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like on the back side. I just, as you can see, they're made it equal on each side. And, sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Um, but I am just gonna use command strips, just the strips themselves, and stick it right to the wall so I can remove it if I want to, reposition it if I want to. Yeah, I'm just a big lover of command strips. I don't want to bug Josh to try to measure and put holes in the wall and stuff, so. And yes, I did switch up the font. You guys did not see this font. I decided I wanted it more clean and blocky instead of like the artsy swirly uh, font. I don't know, I just, I like this vibe for this room. Do you like it, Vani? Oh, yeah. Is it pretty? I'm not... taking the camera. You want to color it? Yeah. No, mommy's gonna hang it on the wall. Don't hurt it. So I don't know if this is going to work, but I literally have nothing to lose. Um, this is the light fixture that was in the hallway. It's not horrible. It's very like classic and traditional, not really the style of my house, or that I'm trying to make the style of my house, but um, it's just a light. It's just up there, whatever. So I thought maybe if I spray paint it brass, it would bring it in with like the rest of the rooms of the house. I'm thinking if I spray the paint this brass, it's going to make it look a little bit better. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, it doesn't stick, whatever. Um, I'll just have to order a lamp, but I'm like I might as well try it because if I can save myself a hundred bucks or whatever it costs for a semi flush mount light I'm gonna try it at least so so currently it is this like speckled bronze color um, And I'm gonna try painting it with this There's lots of different colors of brass, but the one I'm gonna try to go for is a sunlit brass I think this is closest to what I want not super super yellow not super super aged either so yeah, I'll let you know what the results are, but let me go get changed first. I don't want to ruin my clothes. <laughs> Okay, this is the, can you even see in that light? I don't think you can. This is the color of the chandelier, how it turned out, and honestly, I'm not happy with it. It looks like plasticky. Um, apparently, the lid did not lie. It looks right like the lid did. Um, and so, I have this other brass spray paint that Josh picked up for me, and we're gonna see if that does it better. Like, if that's a little more metallic and less, like, flat. I don't know, it just looks so plasticky, so. Yeah, we're gonna try another coat of this and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and here it is with the other brand of paint on. Much better. I think it matches the brass in our house. Definitely a lot better.
another nap, so why don't I go downstairs and show you guys our final entryway. Okay, so this is what you're looking at as you come in from the front door. To the left, we did not do anything just because it does not make sense to rip out carpet right now at the stage of life we're in with toddlers and stuff. I would love to paint these steps someday or stain them, get a cool modern looking railing, but that is a project for another season of life, I guess you could say. So as you come in, we painted the walls white. Sorry, I'm being like super mysterious here, but we painted the walls white, the same as the rest of our house. And then we also have white doors and we left the wooden trim and the flooring you saw before, still pretty, still there. And now this is what you look at as you turn right. So we have two kind of little vignettes here. I'll show you both of them, but first here's the rug. If you wanna see that completely done. And then also over here, I just have this little mail slot from Target. I will try to link everything that I can find down below. And there's some hooks on here for keys or whatever, but for now there's nothing on it. Um, and I can just tuck, you know, stuff that needs to go out to the mailbox in there if I want to, or that's the theory. We'll see how much we use it. And yes, Josh changed out the outlets so they're nice and white. So there's the doorway color. I think it really looks nice with the rug there. And then you also have some gray tones in the floor. I just think it looks good together. So over here, I'm so happy with this desk. So Josh built us a little console table. I'll show you the finished product in a second. But up here, I have my two makeshift art pieces you guys saw me make. Come as you are, make yourself at home. I love them, except this color here turned out a little more salmony pink. I'm not sure how it's showing up on camera there. I would have liked to make it flow a little bit more with this room in here. You can see the orange tones. Um, but I don't think it looks bad or anything. I do like the pink because then I found this candle here that matches perfectly and that I think I just got at TJ Maxx. It's called Nourishing Shea and yeah, it's just really pretty and I have it just sitting up on a stand that I think I got at Cacalico Creek. I have no idea where I got this pretty wooden bowl from. I love it and I haven't been using it for like two years. I'm glad I pulled it out again. And then over there on this side, I have these silver dollar, is that what it's called? Silver dollar eucalyptus. Um, it's like seven years old, but it's like a real plant. Um, I just like how it adds some texture. It makes it look a little coastal if you ask me, I guess. I'm um, just a blue bottle from the old house. And then I have this, which I got from Martin's Furniture and Mattress. I can link them down below. And these wooden beads, I did a DIY myself. If you guys want to make your own wooden beads, I have a video all about it. Or you can just kind of look at this. You guys can see how to make them. Um, and I can link the beads down below. This here is from Ikea. I think you're actually supposed to put little candles in, but it's kind of a catch-all right now for change. Okay, is this table not the cutest? Everybody go down in the comments and put a good job Josh down there. I was so happy when he made this for me. And you guys saw how we just used hairpin legs from the shop that we found you know, out in the barn that we bought with the house. And yeah, the driftwood we got from a friend and I love how it also has like the gray tones in of the flooring. I just think it all goes really well together. This room leans a little more coastal um, than the rest of my house does, but I feel like it still works. Um, and maybe it's just because we're in summertime right now that it looks coastal to me. I'm sure if I would add some evergreens and stuff in the winter, I could totally change the look because everything is so neutral. Um, sure, part of me would love to repaint all the trim around here, the dark trim, you know, white, so everything's fresh and clean, but this will work for now, guys. It's fine. Um, and I do like how the dark trim kind of adds cohesiveness to all the other rooms. But yeah, this table is so cute. Um, and we just used the legs in the front because we didn't need them in the back. Plus, it would have looked crowded if we had four legs. Um, and yeah, we left, the, we did not epoxy this table or anything. We're going to leave it natural as it is. Then if someday, you know, natural wood isn't in style anymore and we want to um, stain it or something like that, that's an option for us. So yeah, Josh actually just made some brackets here in the bottom to hold it to the wall, but you can't really see them, they're hidden. And then the legs also add a little support as well. So this little console area doesn't have a ton of hidden storage, but that's okay. It's not like we need to store a lot of stuff here. We usually go out the mud room anyway. So this space is mainly for guests, just to make them feel welcome when they come in the door, you know, candles lit, place to drop their shoes, hang their coats, and move into the rest of the house. And then down here, I just have a basket that I used to have in the living room. I think it came from Hobby Lobby, and there's just some of our flip-flops thrown in there. So I don't know if you guys are noticing, but I almost exclusively shopped my home for this hallway makeover. I had been going around to a bunch of different stores and feeling discouraged because I felt like nothing was on sale. Inventory was low. In our area, Burlington, TJ Maxx, all those places were not open yet. And so I just decided, you know what? I have decor in my house that'll work. And we're just gonna do that for now. And as I find a cute piece out while I'm shopping or something, I can add it into the space rather than just like having to go out and buy, you know, full price items at Target or whatever. Yeah, I'll just wait till I see a good sale and something strikes my fancy and then I will keep it. 
yeah, so don't feel like you have to spend money. Um, if you have a can of paint in your basement, that's all you really need to do a makeover and you can just shop your home for all the other pieces. Part of me is like, why do I put this on YouTube? Is it really a YouTube worthy project? But honestly guys, this is real life and this is more the kind of makeovers we do most often. We don't often do like just the whole buy everything all at once and put it in. You know, this isn't HGTV and so, I'm not really trying to be hashtag relatable, but at the same time, that's just life right now. And don't feel bad if that's you as well. We're all in the same boat, guys. You can get a really good look just by even, you know, shopping your house. Ooh, do you guys want to see the chandelier? There it is up there. It's not my pick, but you know what? It looks a lot better with that spray paint on it. And it just kind of blends in with the rest of the room a little bit there. Um, it's kind of an afterthought. It's not like at the center of attention. And maybe someday I will find a nice, you know, light piece for there. But for now, that's what we're doing. Okay, then I have this mirror up here. I can try to link it for you guys. It has like leather strap details up there, which I think look really good. And then heh, there I am. <laughs> Hi guys. There is so many circle mirrors out there and I love them. That's kind of the look I was going for. Um, I was going to put it on this wall actually, but then I decided, you know what? I saw this one. I'm like, it's so cute. I'm going to buy it. It's something a little bit different. And I like how it had the natural wood to match this side of the wall. So I think it was meant to be. And then here are my coat hooks that Josh made me. Oh my goodness, they cost me zero dollars. I was looking online, um, all different places, and they were like seven bucks for one hook. I was like, are you kidding me? Um, so here, let me take everything off. This is just a hat from Kohl's. This is my little backpack from Ross, I believe, and my jean jacket from Target. I'll just throw that all on the floor there. <laughs> Now, here are my very classic basic hooks. Josh just took a dowel rod and cut it down to size. And then we have some two by fours that Josh just ripped down and painted the same exact color as the wall. And it's just like simple and clean and it's not really showy at all. And I actually really like that. It doesn't look so chaotic. It wasn't what I was originally hoping for, but I saved probably close to 50 bucks just by having Josh DIY some hooks for me. So yeah, super, super easy there. I guess that would be a fourth DIY project there. So yeah, thank you, Josh. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The hallway makeover, facelift, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Um, just a pretty simple little refresh, I guess you could say, um, making it our own. And yeah, go ahead and feel free to steal any of the DIYs you've seen here. I think I showed you actually four. Also, thank you to the Drop app for sponsoring this video. I'm sorry if you guys get sick of sponsorships, but I've had so many good ones reach out to me in the last month, and they were all ones that I already used, so I, of course, had to say yes, because month to month, you never know. But thank you guys for your patience, and just trust me that whenever I endorse a product, it's something that I actually love, and I think will actually be helpful to you guys as well. So thank you, Drop app, for sponsoring this one. And if you guys would like to keep the whole makeover train going, I have two more videos right here that I think you guys would enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye.